I'm very pleased um, to have Tim McDonald, Vice President Emerging Technologies from International Rectify here with me on the stage. And we would like to talk about a topic that is, uh, I guess, very important for International Rectifier, and I'm sure it's coming uh, to be very important for a lot of uh, other companies. Yes. It's gallium nitrate, the future of power electronics, and my first question would be, is gallium nitrate the future of power yeah. electronics? Well, we at, we at International Rectifier certainly believe so. I think it's got the potential for uh, many-fold improvement in performance per cost ratio over incumbent solutions, and we believe that will drive wide adoption in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So what are the uh, main advantages compared to other materials like silicon or silicon carbide? I, I think basically uh, silicon carbide enjoys the same benefits that you get with other wideband gap materials. You, you have improvements in efficiency and density and in thermal performance and reduced cooling. The difference is that with gallium nitride, uh, growing it on a silicon substrate and having a processing that's compatible with volume manufacturing, the cost can be much lower. So again, that performance per cost can be much higher relative to the existing silicon solution. We think that ultimately is what drives broader uh, commercial acceptance. Mm -hmm. So, but th I'm, I'm sure there's still anything that has to be improved. It isn't perfect yet. No, not perfect. The first devices that are coming out are better than the existing silicon solutions, enough to drive early adoption. Uh, but I think our belief is that with the successive generations, that improvement can, can get even further. If you look at the fundamental limits, being five or ten times better than silicon is a good start, but the fundamental limits are more like a hundred or even greater times better than silicon that it could be. So lots of room still for improvement, but pretty good for the first round. Mm -hmm. What kind of applications are best suited for gallium nitride-based components? I think we believe there's a wide range of applications. Uh, initially, our first product release last year covered point of load, for, for example, for Netcom applications. The 650-volt uh, devices which we're planning for release by the end of this year are focused on computer power supplies. But ultimately, our roadmap covers other applications uh, from automotive to motion control to lighting, a very broad range of applications. So there's no, no limitations to the applications so the far? The limitations probably are voltage-based, so okay. anything covering from about 20 to 1,200 volts, which is a big chunk of the market. Yeah, definitely. Um, other companies are working, uh, working on gallium nitride-based products too. Um, do you see this as an advantage or as a disadvantage? I think the, the benefits, the inherent benefits of GAN that we've talked about have become apparent in the last couple of years, and that's attracted a lot of attention, both from the major power semiconductors and from venture capital startups. I think that will drive a faster pace of technology adoption. I think we at IR look to that competition as a good thing, because ultimately that will result in uh, getting that performance per cost ratio down where the market opportunity develops and we, we achieve wide adoption. So we look forward to that. Okay. And what market share do you expect uh, in the next, say, five years? I think in five years we could expect maybe somewhere in the range of 1% to 3% of the power conversion market. And some uh, market studies have put that at between 150 and $250 million revenue opportunity. Which is not too bad. <laughs> not too bad for a start. <laughs> for a start, yeah. And what is your uh, roadmap at International Rectifier for the next years? I, I think we plan to, as we said, complete the 650-volt uh, product release and then to a second generation do two things. One is uh, take those initial voltage offerings and improve them perhaps by factors of three or five in the next five years, and then also expand the voltage range to cover from 20 to 1,200 volt. And I think by doing that, we believe we'll, we'll be able to drive this market adoption we're talking about by achieving the performance per cost in the next five years. It's a, yeah. And it will keep you quite busy, I guess. Very busy, yes. Okay. Tim McDonald from International Rectifier, thank you very much. Thank you.